Well, that's all fine and dandy, you say. What's a real-life example of this? Converse of the perpendicular bisector theorem. Well, civil engineers do this all the time when they're planning parks and streets and, and stuff like that. So let's take a look at a simple problem here. A civil engineer is designing a new park. He wants to place a gazebo that is equidistant from the pond and the fountain. Where are the possible positions for the gazebo? Explain. Well, once again, the key phrase here is equidistant. And of course, we just learned that if a point is on the perpendicular bisector, it is equidistant from the endpoints. In this case, our endpoints are the fountain, F, and the pond, P. So let's go ahead and draw a segment between those two. And of course, since we know how to do constructions, we can quickly construct the perpendicular bisector to segment FP. And so here we have line G that is the perpendicular bisector of segment FP. And of course, the gazebo can go anywhere along line G. So a proper answer would read something like this. Since all the points along the perpendicular bisector are equidistant from the endpoints, the engineer should construct the perpendicular bisector, line G, of the segment between the fountain and the pond. Anywhere along line G will work. Now it's your turn to try a couple of problems involving the perpendicular bisector theorem and its converse.